again my name is Katie and I'd like to welcome you to my channel today we are going to talk about some tools that we can use to remove backgrounds of photos we will be using just one photo for all the tools that we will be trying this is going to be a comparison and I'm so excited to show you the tools that you can try and use on your end when you will try to remove backgrounds from your photographs as well so let's go ahead and get started our first tool that we are going to use would be Photoshop CC. I'm using the 2019 version. So today I'm just going to show you how to remove the background using the magic eraser tool. Go to the magic eraser tool and then just one click. That's 50% tolerance and let me try another one, see how many clicks it would take. But for one click, that's, how, that's what the result is. So second click, third click, fourth click, and fifth click. So it would take around five clicks for us to remove most of the background of this image if you are using Photoshop. Again, this is not yet clean, so you would still spend a bit more time for you to be able to clean this image up. All right, so let's go to the second tool. So now we are in Pixlr. I'm not sure if we are just going to take one click for this because in Pixlr, you need to choose the image first so that the tool will know that you are separating it from the background. So here's what we are going to do. We are going to locate the magic wand and this is it. And then click on the portion that we want to edit out or we want to remove. And then click the shift key on your keyboard so that you can click some more of the area. So essentially, we are just going to uh, be choosing the girl. Um, let me go back a little bit. Okay, so I think this is good enough. And then the next step would be click on edit and click cut so that the background will be removed. So that's the product. Let's see um, the result in Photoshop. Um, Photoshop is clearer at this point. And this is the product of Pixlr. Now let's go to photop.com. Choose the one tool. If I can find the one tool, it's there. All right. And then click the area. Again, shift key so that we can choose the area. So our goal to just have one single click is not working for any of the tools that I've mentioned so far because it required several clicks for us to be able to um, do the things that we wanted to do with the image that we are working on. So with this one, I think this is good enough selection. So let's just click the edit button again and click cut. All right. So it's pretty clean. I'm surprised actually look let's look at the result um so far I like the result from photo P and Photoshop now let's go to this tool that was um, recently launched and was hyped so much that almost all the photo editors that I know in the group that I belong in actually tried to use it over the weekend um, so let's go and try remove that BG so here's the thing this is a free tool and you cannot actually erase backgrounds of any product this tool only erases the background of a person if it can identify a person in the photo so let's click on select a photo and of course we will choose the same photo that we used in the other tools that we um, utilized earlier so let me just verify myself and here you go so the tool works by you uploading it and it will analyze so you don't have to do anything after you upload the photo the tool will remove the background for you so let's check that's pretty impressive oh my god i liked it so much 
I think this too will be one of my favorites already and this is a very good and very easy to use tool for at, at this point for me so if you haven't tried remove that BG yet I think this is the perfect time for you to try it let's um, click on download and I wanted to inspect the photo let me upload that quickly on Photoshop and let's see the result all right let me just see see the result it's actually cleaner than the one that we edited using photoshop let me try to put the background so you can see the remaining blue spaces or the blue backgrounds so there you go there are some blue here some blue here of course you can still clean this up or um, Photoshop has another tool which is the pen tool of course you can use that or you can use the remove background tool um, it's the same here this the background eraser tool you can use that um, it's just that I wanted to show you really quickly that magic eraser tool can do the trick as well but at this point looks like it was Trump by remove that BG so let's go and check the other file and let me put the same color background so that you can see the difference see it looks a lot cleaner there are some blue background that are remaining in the photo but it's not so bad it looks okay it looks really nice actually so let me try to upload another photo let's try to remove a gray background so let me just verify myself that i'm not a bot and there you go surprise there you go okay so here's the thing the AI technology that runs this software actually erased the other portion of the Instagram logo as well so that's the thing here it's because it's so automatic there's no other settings that you can play around or that you can adjust so you really can control it so what you see is what you get um, let's try that same photo over here in Photoshop and let's see what happens all right I'm gonna use the same tool that I used earlier so still the magic eraser tool all right so the tolerance can be um, lowered down so it will not erase the portion of the fingers or the Instagram so let me undo that and just put 10 as a tolerance okay so it still removed part of the Instagram logo um, let's lower that down to five some more and let's see what happens okay five. there you go there are still some portions that were removed but then again it's not us like this one <laughs> everything all the Instagram almost all the Instagram logo is gone um, completely um, probably I'm actually guessing that the tolerance level used here would be around 50 to 70 percent that's why it's so um, the result is really good when it comes to solid colors unlike here with um, the white portions of the Instagram logo so I guess let's try another one let's see if it works for us this time I'm gonna use this one okay let us see and while it's doing that let me upload that on Photoshop as well and let's try to remove the background two three four five six seven eight nine clicks and all plus one ten clicks to remove the background of this girl now if we wanted to increase the tolerance that will be possible as well so let me go ahead and click on that increase the tolerance to about 30 percent and let's try to erase just one click 30% and it did the magic for this photo. Let's quickly go back to remove that BG. 
All right, it's really, really comparable to Photoshop. I like remove that BG, that's my conclusion. So after Photoshop, which is technically my first love, I like this remove that BG tool. It's just that it doesn't work on all the photos that you will be using. Sometimes if there are two people in the photo, it's gonna remove the other person as well. So watch out for that. Um, if you wanna read more about remove that BG, you can just go here on their website and click on um, the information and read more about this tool so i'm going to play around with this some more and probably create a video and feature this alone in a tutorial so that i can show you how to use it more effectively um, at this point um, with all the tools that we use today i like photoshop the best and then remove comes close second super close and i like photo p as well so if you haven't used photo p give it a try as well and um, i hope it will help you in your background removal um, tasks so there you go that's our quick video for the day if you have any questions let me know if you have subscribed already thank you so so much if you haven't please don't hesitate to click the subscribe button or tap the bell so that you will be notified when a new video is up. That's it for now. If you have other background removal tools that you know that I have not mentioned, um, let me know so I can try it as well. I'll be back with another video. And if you have any requests on the video that you want me to discuss, that is, let me know and I'll try to record one for you. So there you go. I hope your day is amazing and i hope you are having a wonderful um day or night wherever you are i'll see you in my next video bye